Hey everybody, this is uh, Natalie and this is another Morning Breeze. I hope you guys are doing wonderfully. I am here in the car and I am just giving God all the glory, the praise and the honor for another day, for a new life. Um, I've gotten the opportunity to just take a little vacation and um, I'm enjoying myself, I really am. So I wanted to um, just say something that is on my heart. Um, it is very interesting um, how much we take life for granted. We do really take life for granted. And um, in this journey, what I have experienced is that when you have a, the call of God on your life, um, your life is at stake. That uh, the enemy is out there and he's doing everything in his power and his will to stop you from fulfilling your destiny and uh, reaching the goals uh, that you are supposed to reach um, because you have a mission and a focus in Christ. And if you are not um, grounded in the word of God, if you are not um, taking this walk seriously, sometimes you can really look at the things that are happening around you and really be discouraged um, overwhelmed, sometimes even fearful. Um, those of you who understand that we are not just wrestling against people, sometimes it seems like all our issues and our problems, they are as a result of somebody doing something to us. But that's not the case. The Bible says that we are not wrestling against people. We're not wrestling against flesh, but against principalities, um, against uh, darkness and spiritual weakness, wickedness in high places. So it's not the empirical things that we see or we experience that should be our biggest concern. And it's uh, at times it's hard to remember this, to understand this, and to really know how to deal with life circumstances because of this. But um, I'm here to remind you today that no weapon that forms against you shall ever prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall be condemned. The word of God says that this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And our righteousness is of him. It's because Christ died on the cross for our sins that we can now claim these things. That we can claim that there is no weapon that can form against us. That we can claim victory through Jesus. It is because of him. That's why we're able to do these things. That's why we're able to have confidence and to know that even though we're facing situations, circumstances, trials, temptations, heartache, pain, uh, rejection. It does not matter because greater is he. Hallelujah who is in you than he that is in the world. And even though the enemy may try to make it seem like you're at a dead end and that there's no hope and you, you're struggling to find peace in your heart and you're, you're, you're having a hard time understanding why all these things are happening. Let me tell you today, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. I am a witness. I am a witness for myself. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen the devil try to manifest in many different ways. So angry at the call of God. On the lives of the children of God. And for that. He's trying everything to distract us from pursuing. Or sometimes not even to distract us. But to make us fearful. To actually pursue the things of God. To move forward and to actually claim that which is ours. What God said is ours is ordained to be ours. But he wants to put fear in our hearts so that we don't pursue these things. So that we don't go after it. So that we don't even want it. But I'm here to tell you that there is a greater hope. There is a greater hope. And I believe and I trust this morning that if you find that the enemy is on your tail like <laughs> like nothing else i would tell you these two things number one be encouraged because the enemy doesn't go after things that are invaluable he only comes after the things that he knows are a threat to the 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 to the kingdom of darkness 
That's why he's attacking so strong. That's why he's coming after you. That's why you're having those sleepless nights. That's why it's hard for you to 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 just stay focused and 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 pursue the things that God you that you know within your heart God desires for you to do. That's why because you are valuable to the kingdom of God and you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. And number 2, understand that even though the lion may roar. That doesn't mean that it can bite. Remember that the, the enemy comes around like a roaring lion seeking whom it may devour. It doesn't say devouring people. Seeking whom it may devour. But I'm here to tell you, a lion can roar, but it doesn't have teeth in its mouth. A lion can roar, but that doesn't mean it has teeth in its mouth. And sometimes the enemy comes up to us and he just roars. And we get so overwhelmed and intimidated by just the sound of the roar. But God has sheltered us from the bite of the lion. Daniel will testify to that. Daniel will tell you that he was in the lion's den, thrown into a hopeless situation, a situation that only God himself could have saved him from. But the lions in the den could not devour him. God will shut the mouths of the lions for you. If you trust him, if you believe him, I'm just, I'm just it's impressed in my heart just to tell somebody, pursue that which God has called you to do. Pursue it, not later, pursue it today. And don't worry about them roaring lions. Them lions, tigers, and bears. Don't worry about them. God has taken care of your situation. He is asking you just to trust him and to hold on to him. And no matter what it is that you are going through, no matter what it is that it feels like is happening, remember that we have a God who knows the beginning from the end. The word of the Lord says that he has a plan for us. A good and expected end for us. And if this word is true, that means that your future is great. So have a wonderful day. This is another morning breeze. Pray for me as I pray for you. And just have an awesome time. I love you guys. Bye.